Whatever you do, make sure that you do not slip while you're on the staircase in this level, unless you want to fall into a void for all eternity. Hey everyone, I'm Brugley, and in this video, I'm going to be explaining Backrooms level 834, also known as Spiraling, 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 Spiraling. Yes, that's the name. This one is a terrifying expanse of staircases inside of a weird void type thing. It's crazy, it's liminal, it's insane, it's dangerous. Pretty much everything that's good about the Backrooms is in this level. I think you're really going to like it. Thank you for watching, and let's get into the explanation, shall we? So, Backrooms level 834 is classified as a class unalived zone. Sorry, I have to say that, or YouTube will get mad at me. And it is strictly uninhabitable. I mean, you literally cannot survive here for very long. With unstable surfaces and also some environmental hazards, which I'll get into in a second. When you first get into this level, you will find yourself in a very, very dangerous and precarious spot. You'll be on an infinite hellscape of metal staircases inside of a white stormy abyss. You won't be able to see anything above you or below you or to the side of you except fog and kind of this misty substance and the only thing surrounding you in general is other labyrinths of staircases expanding out you know as far as you can see even though it's not that far which well, sounds pretty cool right well it's actually not it's terrifying throughout this level there's actually a really strong breeze that is constantly blowing and sometimes this breeze can transition into gusts of wind that can be so hard that they shake the entire structure of the stairs that you're on from the very bottom and all these staircases are just shaking and hitting each other it's a mess the wind can be so strong that it'll cause the stairs to twist and to turn and to run into each other and to sometimes fall over down into the void under you utterly terrifying especially if you don't like heights like imagine just being on these stairs and then being blown around by the wind to the point where you hit other stairs and then fly off into the void not fun As of right now, it is fully unknown how these staircases got here, or why they're so tall and curvy, or who put them there, and we don't know if something or someone made them. All we know is that they look old, and they don't look safe at all. All the staircases rarely actually connect to each other, only some of them do, and most of them are actually a few feet apart, and you have to jump from stair to stair to travel around the level at all, and the only time you should do this is if you're for sure that you can make the jump. The entry literally says in the third paragraph, quote, should you see a stairway flung your way, hold on for dear life to the staircase you're currently standing on, duck to the next railway, protect yourself by any means necessary, and pray to whatever God you believe in that the staircase under you will not break apart end quote so yeah it's extremely dangerous to be here to say the least as tempting as it might be to try to explore this level and see how far you can get into it and how high you can go it's heavily advised not to do this because you can miss the jump or slip off a ladder or a staircase and end up falling forever into the white void beneath you so like I said earlier only jump and only explore if you are hundred percent sure that you're gonna make the jump the quality style and type of staircase case throughout the level are completely different as you travel further. Some of them also look like they're about to break apart if you step on them. They probably will. This same logic applies to the length and the design of the stairs as well. Because some will go up, some will go down, some will go sideways, and some will go straight up to the point where they look like ladders. So it just really depends on where you're at. Also, some people have reported seeing some that just fade into the clouds, which is strange. It all just depends where you're at in the level. Some people actually claim to look down beneath them, and they've seen staircases rising up out of the mist below, which means that the level can produce staircases randomly, I guess, which is terrifying. There's no documented evidence of anybody trying to walk down the stairs to the very bottom because it's believed that it's just an infinite staircase, so we don't know. Let me know in the comments below what you think is at the bottom. Now, as if wind and infinite looping staircases shaking and hitting each other isn't scary enough, this level actually has another surprise up its sleeve in the form of weather events. Of course there's weather. Why wouldn't there be? On a normal day in this level, the weather will just slightly be breezy and cloudy and misty, but at any given time, that breeze can turn into a really harsh wind, and then accompanying this, there will be dark clouds rolling overhead. When this happens, you'll know that a thunderstorm is about to occur, which is bad, because there's thunder and wind and rain and lightning and everything like this, but you're on a really precarious skinny staircase 
staircase in the middle of a void with nothing underneath you. So imagine you're up there and then it rains and the stairs get slippery and you lose your footing and you fly off. The staircases, like I said, can get so steep that in some places they're like ladders. And these are the type of places that are extremely dangerous to be in during storms. So if you see a storm coming, you better get off of them and get to a flatter staircase. So now that you've heard just how terrifying the level is, let me add even more to how terrifying it is. Because what if there isn't only staircases that make up this level? What if off in the distance of this foggy expanse, you see something else moving around? Something that's not a staircase and not another person. Something that is just ever so slightly cloaked by the mist and you can just barely see its behemoth outline. What if there's a creature of gargantuan proportions lurking out there waiting to pick you off from the staircases once you fall or after you travel too deeply into them or not i mean there's no mention of entities being here but this level gives me the feeling that i'm not alone so i'm assuming that somewhere in this expanse there's some kind of entity eating people there's gotta be i mean why else would so many people go disappearing here so i'm just throwing out the possibility of it let me know what you think below about that i mean it'd be pretty terrifying to like walk up a set of stairs and then look over and see this huge shadowy figure off in the clouds that's terrifying to me at least Anyways, to enter this horrific level, I have bad news, because it's actually very easy to accidentally be sent here, which sucks, but it typically happens if you trip or fall while on a staircase on level 54 or 92 or several others, but if you're in these places, do not trip and do not fall unless you want to be sent here, because it's pretty hard to leave. And to exit the level, you actually have to find a door in the void sky thing that you're in and then jump up into it to be sent out. Now, it's going to be really hard to find this because the weather can block the visibility, so you can't really see far off. You kind of just have to walk around. But when you find it, you need to make sure you get to it then before the staircase you're on starts to shake or something like that happens, or in case something grabs you off of the staircase. Just go for it. Find it as fast as possible. I don't know where it's at, but that's how you escape. That's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. I love and appreciate all of you. Thank you so much for watching until the end of the video. The channel's on the road to 1 million subscribers, and once we get there, as I said earlier, I am going to be flying to the original level 188 picture location and vlogging it, and it's going to be awesome. If you want to help me get there, share the channel with your friends and family and everybody like that. Also, make sure to comment below what other levels that you want me to go over. I'm always open and adding more to the schedule, and I always, have, uh, I always love taking some of your suggestions. So, thank you very much. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Go sub to my second and third channels, Brugs, which is my vlog channel, and Spoogly, which is my cryptic, that kind of channel. If you want more content from me, check the channels out. Thank you all for everything, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.